What if I told you? The first excavator had no diesel engine, no hydraulics, and no electronics. It ran on steam. Born in the 1800s, this mechanical giant helped build railroads, reshape land, and start an industry that moves the world today. In this video, we'll take a journey from steam shovels to smart machines and find out just how far excavators have come. In 1835, a young American inventor named William Otis patented a machine that would change construction forever. The steam shovel, a massive clanking beast mounted on rails, used a steam-powered boom and cables to scoop up dirt and rock. Controlled by levers and operated by a team of men, it could move 20 times more material than manual labor. It was loud, slow, and far from precise, but it was revolutionary. These steam shovels laid the foundation for America's railroads and later dug the Panama Canal. This was the true birth of the excavator. As decades passed, steam gave way to gasoline and diesel, but the operating principle stayed the same, cables and pulleys. Cable-operated excavators were widely used from the 1920s to the 1960s. These machines required incredible operator skill, coordinating drums, brakes, and winches just to make one scoop. One wrong move, and the bucket would swing dangerously. They were powerful, but primitive, limited in precision and mobility. Still, they built dams, mines, and entire cities. Then came the game changer, hydraulics. In the 1970s, manufacturers like Caterpillar, Komatsu, and Hitachi introduced fully hydraulic excavators. Instead of cables, they used pressurized fluid to move arms and buckets with unmatched smoothness and control. Now, a single joystick could do what once took a whole crew. These machines were faster, safer, and far more versatile. Operators gained finesse. Earth moving became surgical. The modern construction site would never be the same again. Hydraulics didn't just improve power. They enabled new attachments, breakers, thumbs, augers, and opened the door to specialized machines, many excavators, long reach arms, and amphibious diggers. Fast forward to today, and excavators are more intelligent than ever. GPS guided controls, automated digging, real time diagnostics, all from the comfort of a climate controlled cab. Some models are even semi autonomous, capable of completing precise grading without human input. Screens have replaced gauges. Camera systems eliminate blind spots. And electric excavators are no longer science fiction. Machines like the Volvo EC950F, the Hitachi ZX7 series, and the Komatsu IMC series are setting the standard. There are even fully electric excavators, silent, clean, powerful. Let's put them side by side. The 1835 steam shovel versus a modern CAT 336. In the past, 15 horsepower, team operation, and hours to dig a trench. Today, 300 horsepower, joystick control, and precision within centimeters. Old machines weighed more, worked slower, and required constant maintenance. Modern excavators are faster, smarter, and can do more with less fuel. But one thing remains unchanged, their mission to move the earth. From fire and steam to silicon and satellites, excavators have evolved beyond what William Otis could ever imagine. But we still owe it all to that very first machine. So the next time you see a massive arm tearing into the ground, remember, it started with coal, brass, and a dream. Excavators today are built with more than muscle. They're built with data, AI, connectivity, and precision. And yet, every bucket that lifts soil is a nod to history, a fusion of what came before and what's coming next. If you enjoyed this journey through heavy equipment history, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more real-world machine stories. This is Machine Masters 79.